All right. Final day, the finishing touches on the van. Everything that's made this van look, I suppose, better on the road, should we say. All of the little things. Hello. Oh. <laughs> All of the little finishing touches. We've got some lovely seat covers to go on the front seat. We've got to clean out the front cab because it's absolutely filthy. It's just full of receipts and crap. I've also got to introduce you to a nice guy today, a bit later on in the video, who's done some incredible bodywork repair on this van to bring it from looking, well, well and truly nearly 20 years old to looking maybe not so 20 years old. So I'll introduce you to him a little bit later on. But hopefully what I'm gonna try and get done today is fit some fitted seat covers from a company called Van Pimps, who have thankfully sent me some seat covers that are bespokely made to fit the Vivaros and Traffics. So I can't wait to get them on because those old seats do need a facelift. I also want to finish this bed. I've been using this old computer desk cutout for far too long now on far too many camps. So hopefully, me and my dad, we've got some spare wood in the garage. We can hopefully try and build out that little bit there and create like a hatch system. We need some kind of slide out system that can slide out and make the double. It's obviously got the sliding bed there. Have we got the skill and the knowledge? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right then. Let's uh, start by cleaning the cab and start fitting these seat covers. Okay, so after looking at some instructions online from the Van Pimps website, We've kind of half figured out how to do this. So, do you want, to, do you want some help? Want it? Take it down again. Hang on, what now? That's it, you got it, you got yes. it. Right, you ready? You got, you got to... Ready? Yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stinker. That's it, go on, you got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the size of that on there. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Who's gonna have a head up there? Hang on. There you are, it's off. Who's gonna have a head up there? Okay, here's a little disclaimer, right? Why on earth various different companies decide to collaborate with me with how stupid I am? It doesn't help having this person here either. <laughs> so uh, for the last five or 10 minutes, we've been looking at various different videos online of how to solve this seatbelt problem. How, how are other people doing it? This is a stupid family. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> anyway, we realised a very simple solution, uh, which any person with a, an ounce of common sense would have done in the first place. Can you just hold that for me? So the solution we have to the seat belt being underneath the seat um, and looking on various different things, even my dad said at one point, right, would you believe it? He said, well, you might have to make a little cut in the seat. I know, I know. <laughs> I've actually been saying that. <laughs> and Brendan looked at me and went, hmm. <laughs> so anyway, if you're as stupid as us and you ever buy uh, a pair of seat covers from Van Pimps or anywhere else. It's gonna rain. It is, I'll be quick. Okay, right, so basically, the solution to this problem, very quick and easy. Put the seat through belt. the belt like that. That's it, belt that's over it. the cover, yeah. that's it. No cutting, don't cut your seats. No. Nope. Don't be a plonker. Yeah, Rodney. Simple as that, right, should we get in for a bit? Go, go and on. And get it dry. I've got an ingenious plan. I was thinking the other day, all the days and all the hours that we've missed, me and my dad or whoever else has helped me out on the build, Dave and Steve, etc., all that time we've missed due to weather, how can I solve that problem? And then I started thinking, oh, maybe, you know, rent a garage. And then renting a garage is like silly money, silly money, not even an option, right, for this kind of size of channel. So I thought, what can I do? So I've got a solution to our problem. It's probably not officially allowed, but Shrewsbury has an indoor multi-story car park. So I'm thinking we can do part of the van build there today. <laughs> this is gonna be, uh, we might well get kicked out. I don't even know if this size van can fit in there, but we'll find out. But I'm not gonna do any work in this crappy, crappy weather in the rain. I've got carpet in the back of the van. I can't afford a garage. The weather's crap. So let's go invade a car park. Do you wanna just quickly go and run in and just um, ask? Say, can we? No, no, don't, no, no, don't, 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 don't say anything about building the van out. No, no, come in. <laughs> Will the van get on there? That's all. Just say, yeah, 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 yeah. Will a low roof van get under? Or just find out, find out the height limit, because I think... Do you know the height of this? No, you don't. Hang on. Come on. Hmm, he's not giving me the thumbs up. Ah, uh, just have a go. Basically, if you touch the rubber, you ain't coming in. It goes, the alarm goes off. The alarm goes off. Yeah, that means you can't go in there anymore. Okay. Right. 
Well, film as fun and games. Fil yeah, film, film as much as you can without letting him cotton on until we're filming because then it just draws more attention. Yeah, okay. Getting okay, to film the old lady with the zipper frame. It might do. No, I reckon we're going to hit that. I. I don't know. I don't know, to go steady. Yeah, we're going to win that, we are. I tell you what, all that. There is a car behind us, by the way. I don't know. I think we done it. I think we done it. Oh, that feels. Oh, 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 oh. You actually had about half an inch. Just watch me round this thing here. Go on then. Yeah, clear, clear, clear. Oh, that was so close. That was close. <laughs> Literally half an inch. Oh, can you hear it? Yeah, well. Don't go too fast, eh? I might break it off. That's my teeth, really. <laughs> well, you lost another one. <laughs> For the old viewers. No. We've well, lost a couple no. of teeth in these videos. <laughs> <laughs> So, we just about made it into the car park, but just while we try and fit those seat covers, I want to introduce you to a nice guy I recently met who's been helping me fix the bodywork on the van. So this is Nick, ladies and gents. Uh, he reached out on Instagram and he said he's really interested in helping me trying to restore some of the beauty to this van. Uh, I'm going to leave Nick's Instagram in the description below. Go and check him out. We're going to run a time lapse while we try and get these headlights up to scratch. Um, or should I say not up to scratch. <laughs> <laughs> see how it goes. And see how good his work is. And then if you guys are interested or local to the Shropshire area and you want to get your headlights done or get some body repair work done or some paint work, whatever it might be, um, I'm sure Nick will talk more in detail with you about what it is he actually does if you want to reach out but yeah thank you ever so much mate for doing this it's all right let's set the time lapse up after putting some elbow grease into the headlights nick noticed a couple of other imperfections on the van that he could help with firstly was a horrible deep scratch and dent on the front left wing i had tried to repair this myself using a touch-up pen with no luck so i was interested to see what he could do so just as we put the final touches to this van, oh, I just that. want to show you Nick's handiwork. Look at that. Do you guys remember that horrible wing? Me trying to desperately touch it up with that touch up pen and not having much luck. And it's good. unbelievable. And for the final touch, Nick suggested applying some texture black spray paint on the bumpers to give them a new lease of life. I'll leave Nick's contact details in the description below if you want to see what you can do for your car or van. Now let's see how we're getting on with those seat covers. Okay. We're back in the van, we're leaving the car park. It uh, hasn't turned out to be as successful as I thought it might be. So there's no light in the van, because it's quite dingy and dark in here. We can't see underneath the seats. Um, so yeah. One good thing. You can get your Pavaro in here, you can get a mineral traffic in here without trouble. Well, I wouldn't say without trouble, but you, you can get yeah. it in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. take your aerial off first. <laughs> right. On the way into town, I spotted a potential RV. That bridge. Let's do it. So we set to work on the side of the road underneath a dodgy bridge. To say we had some funny looks would be an understatement. And that is the bench seat done. Yeah. Look how much better they look. I know. <laughs> <laughs> The hardest part of fitting these seats is this. The most time consuming part is the string underneath, but uh, it's all there to provide a nice snug fit to those seats. Looks like it's factory fresh. I didn't film much in the next segment due to frantically trying to rectify the problem, but here's an update to what happened. We have got a major problem. So, what were we doing in the last part of this video? Oh yes, yes, I remember now. Fitting these absolutely gorgeous. Let me just finish off that part of the video before I tell you what we've got as a problem. Um, 
these absolutely gorgeous van seats from Van Pimps. Now fitted the driver's seat as well. What a massive difference that makes to the cab area. So that's the good part of this video, I guess, and obviously improving the bodywork with Nick from NJ Car Body Repairs. So thank you, Nick, uh, for giving me a hand with that, mate. Van looks a million quid now, but we have a serious, serious issue. Let me just show you the top of the van. I've just shown you the dash there. Maybe you can have a guess of what problem we've got. We've got a leak. What was it the other day? We were underneath the bridge, trying desperately to fit that gaffer tape on top of that windscreen there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So upon further inspection, I've taken down the center dome light here, gotta try and find a way to reattach that, which has been an absolute nightmare. All this is dripping wet up here. Looked inside there, there's moisture coming through from where the windscreen seals to the van body. Looked online, tried to find a solution. I didn't really film much of uh, the discovery of that leak the other day, because to be quite frank, I was, um, to, be, to be honest, I was quite deflated really after doing all this, fitting the nice seats, then having water dripping from the, the dash here. Thankfully, it's not raining right now, so we haven't got drips on the floor. And hopefully the gaffer tape will sort that out. But uh, can anyone leave a comment below on any suggestions of help? What can I do to solve the problem of a leak? What could it be? Um, I don't know if it's been changed at some point in its lifetime, the windscreen, if it's original or whether it's been changed, if that makes a difference. Is there a company or a service out there that I can employ to try and repair it? So yeah, it's uh, not um, the most positive end of this video that I was hoping for. Interior now looks a hell of a lot better. A lovely fit to these seats. They actually go inside the trim. Nice tight fit on the headrest as well. Um, but yeah, I, I wasn't expecting to uh, face this problem. But we're gonna be working on the bed in the kitchen today in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully there's a solution by the time we film it. Fingers crossed. Great time for a car to pull up. Um, but I'm gonna leave the video here. Thanks for all the support. Uh, if you wanna get yourself some van seats, or van seat cover, should I say, then go and visit Van Pimps online. Absolutely brilliant seats, fit perfectly to the TVPs. And also, if you wanna check out Nick's body repair business, I'll leave a link in the description below to his Instagram and his email if you wanna drop him a line. So yeah, wish me luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed and hopefully, when I see you next week, whenever the next video's out, I'll have a solution to the leak on this windscreen.